the standard A-frame shelter is designed with simplicity using only the materials available to you. It is also designed for insulating and protecting your body in a minimal amount of space and for a low profile situation such as escape and invasion and surviving behind enemy lines. As with all shelters, the time and effort you put into it is up to you, and you can always add to it. I am designing this one with a little bit of extra effort involved, but it can be designed much better or much more simple. This is a standard A-frame for a standard A-frame shelter. Notice the simplicity and sturdiness of this frame. This is the beginning of a life-saving shelter. Even fair weather can have very cool nights. I highly recommend in adverse weather like cool damp weather or winter conditions that you put down a very thick layer, perhaps six to eight inches, of leaf debris or pine boughs to insulate your body from heat loss that is caused by laying on the ground. Okay, so I'm about half done here. The next step on this side would be to add a thick layer of debris. But as it stands, with the frame here and the boughs set in place on the other side, I already have essentially an effective lean-to that's worthy for sheltering in. But I'm going to add debris to the other side and I'm going to finish this with boughs and debris. That's going to give me a nice shelter. So let me describe this structure a little more before I close it the rest of the way in. You'll notice I have a support stick on the front of the structure, which I've tied in well with vine. And this is going to support some of that load. It's going to be a load bearing towards the front of the shelter so it doesn't fall forward. Okay? Also, I have all these sticks angled upward to a peak, and I've additionally tied them in with more vine. This is fox grape vine. It's very useful for tying larger pieces with. Okay, so I've got the structure pretty much closed in and complete, with the exception I might want to add some more debris on top, as well as more camouflage. Now you can see I added a deciduous tree, an oak tree, with its big broad leaves, and that's going to help not only camouflage the structure, but it's also going to help shed water. And you can see I've closed in this other side. Notice how well thatched this is. I've started at the bottom and thatched the branches up under and I built upwards as I went and then I began to lay big ones on top that covered the whole area okay now this gives me a thick thick layer of wood sticks that are going to shed water as it runs away but also the needles and then debris will go on top of that that's going to give me a fine shelter and I can add like I said deciduous branches with big broad leaves on top to camouflage and help shed water now this is a very very good shelter to have in an emergency situation.